Well, welcome to, uh, something special, all right. Yeah, hold the Wii, the Wii remote just just right. Yeah. Just like I like yeah, it. Just 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 the way. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, today is uh, it's it's Metroid. Metroid, other M. Mom. M O M. Mama. One thing at a time, UDJ. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, there's a lot to say about Metroid Other M. It, it uh, was supposed to be a high point of the series. It's probably one of the lowest points. It is a confusing mess. It is a uh, strange game. It completely bastardizes the characterization of Samus Aran that people have had for many years, and it's just... Uh, all right, let's start at the beginning. This was supposed to be a collaboration between Nintendo and Team Ninja. To, to have uh, Samus's uh, backstory uh, expanded upon, I suppose. To enrich the lore of Metroid. So they hired Team Ninja to help out and make this game, Metroid Other M. And it was not what people thought it would be. It's very tricky to give a silent protagonist a voice. It it is, especially a voice that is this compl this uh, reviled. Yeah, I'll, I'll see for myself. Go, you will indeed. Because again, most of the time it's up to direction. So, Why am I still alive? we start here at the end of Super Metroid, and that's where this takes place in the timeline. Yeah, right after Super Metroid. Maybe. Like, we're here at the boss with Mother Brain and everything, and the, the, the Baby Metroid is giving us the Hyper Beam powers. Awesome. Yeah, you can see our health at the top left there getting uh, increased. Oh, there. oh! This is actually what made me buy it. Seeing these cinematics. Sure. These cinematics are pretty good. Yeah. It's like, oh, cool, post-Super Metroid, and we get to see it, like, right here in our face. This is great. Charging up an eye laser. How does oh, here this... it comes. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the big it's one. It's gonna burn. You gotta get out of there, little baby Metroid. No! The baby! So I guess this moment was the most singular crushing thing that has ever happened to Samus Aran. I don't know how, though, because the end of Metroid 2, we just got a Metroid and it was like, neat, let's go hand it off to some scientists. But now it's dead and now we have like an existential crisis. Well, we got more important things to worry about. Yeah, kill Mother Brain. <laughs> Samus just remembered her least favorite film. Oh wait, no, that's yours. Uh -huh. And thus, Super Metroid was completed. And then Super Metroid happened after that, and now we find her... Uh... In a hospital bed. Because the events from that were just so traumatic, I suppose. She fainted while driving back to the Federation? Okay, Samus. She got a routine checkup I afterwards. Woke to the familiar voice of a quarantine officer. Let's try sitting up, huh? Samus has constant monotonous narration the throughout the entire game, and none of it I is character building, and it's all redundant. I think Thanks that's the, beam, the thing that kind of me annoys me the most the is the redundancy. I laid Mother Brain to waste. It's always in the form of the explosion that I just experienced this. Yeah, Let's we, talk about it. We, we, we just Along saw this. Of Mother Brain, in the fact, they could have just showed this scene and that would have been it. Then wake up in the hospital bed. You don't even need this explanation. And the baby. Come on, Samus. Let's go next door. We, so, uh, we saw some brain function. It seems like you're having some internal monologues. So now it's time for us to do a tutorial. Because this is a very different Metroid game. Because it's not really a Metroid game. It's made by Team Ninja. This is really a Ninja Gaiden game. 
with a Metroid skin over it. Still got the first person. No. But yes, but yeah, no. It, it does, just but not... It's, but it's terrible. Well... It's awful. Ready for a quick All right, test. quick test. One step at a time. That's that's how we're gonna we're, we're gonna cross this mountain. Little warm up. Here we how go. How the game goes. Calisthenics. You are holding the the Wii the Wii remote controller sideways. Okay. And everything is done with the D pad. Oh. In a 3D space, this does not work too well. Samus has an auto lock on to stuff, and you pre and you mash one to do that. Okay. Right. Seems Makes easy. sense. Seems easy enough. Just the way I like it. And hold one to charge it. Makes okay. sense. You press A to turn to Morph Ball. Alright. Seems uh, okay. Okay. Seems pretty easy to do. You can drop the bombs, of course. Got all that. Ball and Morph Ball, gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Get out of Morph Ball mode and return to normal. You trying to bomb jump? It's it you can do it, but it's a little it's a little tricky. Okay. Perfect, Samus. Perfect. Alright. Looking good. Alright. Stand in the middle of the room. Oh yeah, we need to go first person. This is such a game from 2010. That right there. Because now we've got this Gears of War style kind of mission camera. That mission camera auto locks you into that position. Uh huh. You have to find out what's going on in the room or do what the game tells you to before you can actually get out of that locked camera. Kick, climb, don't change direction with with control pad. Basically going against everything you learn from Super Metroid about wall about wall climbing. All right, let's do some combat now. With some holograms. Very good. Very good. Just basically Just... mash one to to, to, to to kill him. I see you using that D-pad, man. Oh, it is. It is bad. It's the nunchuck is perfectly fine, but they want it. It's like no, 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 no. We want to keep it like this. It's fine. We can do it. We can do it, we can do it like this. <sighs> I mean, even then, you could have given a button to go first person if you really wanted to, <laughs> and still <laughs> use the nunchuck to have that good control. All right, sense move. At the right moment. Oh, is this a... It's, oh. it's a quick dodge. Oh, okay. You nudge the D-pad in whatever direction, and she will do a dodge roll in whatever direction. If you're charging, you will instantly have a charged beam. Phew. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna... That, that's actually a positive point. Sense move is actually pretty good. That's pretty neat, yeah. Next, how about a missile test? All right, missile test, and we're gonna take two <laughs> steps back. <laughs> Concentration! You no longer get missile power-ups. Do you just kind of think about it? You just hold up the hold up the Wii remote, hold A, and there you go. You can do it any time. Free missiles? Free missiles. What's the point? Okay. So now search view. This is going to be uh, a preamble to what I call the games going. Uh, all right. Samus is looking at something. She sees something. What is it? I spy Samus Aran style. So they want me to look at something, and I don't know what. They're not going to give me any hints as to what I'm supposed to look at. There's there's no like visual hints. This is this is a preamble. It's it's not quite what we're looking for yet. But uh, frequently the game will want me to go and look at something. I'm supposed to figure out what she's supposed to be looking at. See here, I can move around. Here, oh. someone's saying one of your pesky buddies. So I so I, I can it. I can move, and I have a I have a clue. Going forward, we won't have those. Mm. He's in the corner, I believe I saw. Little, uh, right up there. Up there? Top left up hand. There. Left hand. Where? Left hand. Left hand. Well, I'm looking. Where, where, are you, where, are you where is he? Uh, upper left hand. I, I, I will admit that my <laughs> gameplay... He's directly on top of you. I will admit that my gameplay is a bit rough. Uh, uh, oh, there there he is. is. So, uh, the worst thing about this game, I think, is... To use your missiles, you have to point the Wii Remote at the screen, and then that's how you fire your missiles. There's no other way. I can't use my missiles in third person. I have to go into first person, and going between, you know, sideways to pointing at it, I need to do that on, like, a split second, and it, it takes at least a second for the game to realize, oh, we're going into first person. So it doesn't work. Interesting. It, it does not work. Besides, charging your beam is the best way to take out these things. They actually want you to use missiles here. <laughs> Hilarious. There we go, you got him. See, missiles are a situational weapon again. So already, looking a lot different than other Metroids we're used to. Combat's really involved, and it is pretty well nuanced. And if I told you it's from the guys who did Ninja Gaiden, 
Well, that that's that actually uh, clinched it. Samus has finishing moves. I love just, it. Just to, just to complete the illusion. Good stuff. All right. And now we fill this area with water. It's time for a power bomb. This area is well fortified. So don't hold go into Morph Ball, press and hold A, drop a big old power bomb. You did that as well, close to the blast shield as possible, did you? You bet your ass I did. <laughs> There's a right, bit of a so cooldown on that. Makes sense. So I don't like how they're doing ammunition and missiles and health and all that. Just a lot of things are different. I don't like them. It's unbelievable how well you've held up. I wondered if this too was a result of the power the baby gave me. <laughs> I think I'm going to start giggling right. every You're time she starts room. speaking. The big dogs are waiting. Oh, God. Gave your suit so what is Samus Saran to you? What do you think her personality is? From what, from what we've played so far. Well, based on the other games that we've played, no nonsense when it comes to Metroids. No nonsense when it comes to Metroids. Stubborn. Stoic. Reckless. Stoic's good, too. Strong sense of justice. Yeah. Kindness. Doesn't like BS. But here, she's demure. She's, you know, almost submissive. She's... Unconfident, Mission unsure of herself. I have no idea what they did to her. Are we sure this is the same woman? This is the same woman. Simple exact same? The exact same. The same from Super Metroid. And its inclusion in the end screens in Metroid Dread solidifies its canon state. However, fantastic. Nathan Bildorf, a uh, guy, uh, guy from Nintendo who's worked here for a long time, worked a lot on Metroid. The guy who actually wrote all the uh, data logs for Metroid Prime. Of Metroids and space he uh, he says that this is a spin-off of the Metroid saga, and not one of the five, you know, a federation yeah. force, so to speak. So, so to speak, yes. So I have tried so many things to figure out why Samus is acting like this. A common SOS with the oh yes. Of uh, we're, we're heading to. This is our setting for the game. It is the bottle ship. <laughs> Which has a specific kind of distress signal known as a baby's cry. Supposed to just scatter around for miles and miles, just just making as much noise and as much attention as possible to saying, Come here! It was as though it was crying And so Samus's, I guess, maternal instincts kick in. Probably probably post uh, postpartum depression or something, I don't know. I don't know. So, so, uh, yeah, Metroid Other M. M O M, mom. I can't. There are a lot of motherhood uh, metaphors to be seen I here. I can't wait until they remember she's part bird, and then when she tries to feed a baby, she just goes. Ah, so, ah. so now everything. Like, I, I spent years trying to figure out why the hell she's acting like this. And then it hit me. It explains everything so well. She acts so irrationally, like it's almost like it's brain damaged. Like, like she's. She's got something going on. She's she's muddled. She's not she's not acting like herself. Cuckoo in the coconut. She she's really really uh, taking this death of the baby Metroid hard, and then it hit me. This is Samus's midlife crisis. But Samus kinda, Samus is going through a midlife crisis right now. It explains everything. It's kind of sad though because there's two more games after this. Uh huh. Well, actually, uh, in the in the timeline, you got uh, fusion. And Dread, so, yeah, that's it. Yeah, two more games. Which means she got over it, at the very least. Or maybe it's still there and we just can't hear it. I'm gonna say she got over it. This is a... Oh, man. Isn't she also technically, like, late 20s, early 30s? Uh, I'm gonna go with late 30s at this point. Or screw it, if this is supposedly a uh, spin-off. I'm not, I'm not no, gonna blame it and say she's in her 50s. I'm not gonna blame entirely on, on Samus, but I'm gonna... T I think that a portion of her uh, strange attitude has to do with the fact that she's her biological clock is ticking somehow. <laughs> that and the fact that they made Samus tiny! I don't like how she, how she looks. She looks like she, her, her shoulders are like bunched together. Because she can't have broad shoulders to show strength. She's 5'2", not 6'3", like she should be. They made her a skinny, demure little lady. All right, here we go. Yeah, what, what are we? What are you looking at? The game wants me to look at something, and uh, it's wanting me to look at the fact that it's a Galactic Federation ship that's parked here. 
no indication as to what she was thinking about, what she went like. She'll tell me fucking everything about what little dumb little thoughts going in her head, but she won't tell me what she what she's thinking at that at that exact moment. So here we go. Gameplay starts. Got some side scrolling. Finally, 15 minutes in, let's start this Metroid game proper. It's classic. Oh, got a little rumble. So um, there is no uh, there are no pickups in this game. You told me that, and I still don't believe you. Well, I'll show you later after another goddamn cutscene. Oh yeah, this screams Team Ninja. <laughs> Especially this part. I hate the fact that everyone's just belittling her and just d demeaning her throughout the entire thing. Good to see you again, Sugar Tits. How you doing? They call me Princess, and they d and they belittle me and call me names like that. But it's okay because I let them. <laughs> Wait, so you say Team Ninja, I say this was so written by a man. <laughs> like, like not even one that that. Uh, uh, it's, 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 this is awful writing. This is terrible. You know, writing. we could probably like tack this on the whiteboard of the fact that this is her own internal fan fiction because uh, she going Fifty Shades on us right now. She's got big daddy issues. <laughs> Well, See, here's here's more uh, thoughts at the midlife crisis. She keeps saying, "Oh, I was so young and inexperienced. I was a Girl, child. This was like two I was years so ago. young." But uh, back in the day, Samus Aran, I guess, uh, joined the Galactic Federation before she got her power suit, or when she got her power suit. I, I don't, I don't know. But she was part of the Galactic Federation, and then she fucked off and became a bounty hunter. But where'd the power suit come in? Did she use it for the Federation? I, I guess she did. What? I mean, they got power suits, kinda. They got suits of some kind. And then I asked what circumstances led the Federation. Maybe it was the baby's cry that's calling everybody here from a 10 light year radius! Is it really 10 light years? So I don't know, but it's, it's a baby's cry! Second. It's supposed to gather attention! He's Why do you think much. he's here? Routine inspection? I thought it was them that lit the beacon, so to speak. Commander, we're all prepped. It's like, oh shit, we're a little in over our heads, guys. So that guy right there is Adam Malkovich. If you played Metroid Fusion, you know who he is. He's the he's the CEO that Samus would kind of reflect on, saying, hey, he's kind of gruff. The he'd computer. Say, he'd, he'd call me, you know, he'd say, any objections, lady? It was a gruff CEO, all that. And I, I think the game kind of went with it and said, okay, uh, the daddy issues, let's go. Use the laser to slowly burn our way through. This is gonna take a while. Nah, so, one missile. One of the most, the probably open. the single most infuriating part of this whole game, do tell, damage. is how they deal with the powers. The power I'll agree with that. Location. Samus has all of her abilities. She actually managed to come in here with, well, only ten missiles, but she's got, she's got missiles, she's got, uh, you know, ex she's got uh, the, the speed booster, she's got power bombs, she's got everything. So we use a missile to blow up the door, and everyone's like, whoa, what the hell? Yeah, I think I understand why they say no to using your powers. Because they're putting all this background into, you know, your superior officer being a dick. And from a gameplay perspective, I understand, because you got to start from the beginning again, and know how that it's works. It's so sure. poorly done, because if you're just I'm gonna go on adhering to your superior officer by limiting yourself... Here it is. ...on your stuff... Here it is. Yikes. Oh, wait. It's, it's a little later, but... But here it is. <laughs> Adam did not Adam approve of that. He did not like the fact that I got that door open and saved him a whole bunch of time because it wasn't against protocol. Because he's a he's a whiny little shit who has to be in charge and micromanage every little single little fucking thing. Has so she's like, to not okay, use bombs or missiles. Until I won't use bombs or missiles to spare the poor boy's feelings. Okay, she's decided not to use them, and that is the single. Most infuriating thing. Not when she's not. Not when her life is in danger. Not when she. Not when she's about to die. It's like, oh, I better not use missiles or bombs because Adam said no. I'd be using missiles left and right in this situation. Please don't pop a blood vessel. I'm trying to keep it calm. That's it's why. Right, that's why, that's why I'm taking well, you one. I mean, you tried. There, there, and it there's a lot for to a good unpack here. Minutes, but, uh... There's there's a lot to unpack here. That's why I'm going one step at a time. But when you go from like you know fighting those bugs, that felt okay. That wasn't too bad. So it works. Part of it works somewhat. But then we have to do stuff like going into first person to fire a missile and all that. But this exploration bit, this isn't too bad. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm feeling it. All right, going up here. So, so there's something here. Oh my god, this it's is a, your Dead Rising 4. 
Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, yeah, no, that's where it. Where you see some good things. You know there's good things in here. But the fat outweighs the good. Or, sorry, the stupid outweighs the good. Well, uh... They came back with, uh, with the Federation forces, which was less of what people wanted. <laughs> and then they did Samus Returns and revitalized the franchise, so... And then they did Dread, and then, there, and then we're good. There, there is hope, friends. There, there is hope for anything. It's already here. It's the fastest-selling Metroid. Oh, yeah. Best-selling Metro Metroid, too. Metroid Dread, Metroid Prime Remastered. Come on. Come on and Metroid that. Prime Remastered was Shadow Dropped. Oh, it, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's great. I love Metroid Prime Remastered. You gotta play more of it, though. Because I, you know, <laughs> Because recently other did. things came out? I recently did play it, you know? Nice, nice. I don't like how we do with these uh, terminals here. You don't, press, you don't press a button, you just walk up to them, and then she does an animation to it. It's, it's, it's weird. Interesting. Kick climb, what I call the Hayabusa jump. Oh, that's nice. Are we gonna uh, we're gonna do an Izuna drop <laughs> by the end of this? Well, I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> you know, was, uh, uh, there was a time where in my mind I was like, "Hey, if we actually do other M, I'll do I'll do Ninja Gaiden or something like that as a <laughs> as a parallel game." And then I remembered that Ninja Gaiden's hard, and I was like, "Well, okay, maybe maybe he won't do other M." Well, here here we are. Here we are. We're doing other M. So the enemies don't drop health pickups. I've noticed that. The only way you can get health and missiles back, well, I guess health, is by going to the navigation rooms, which are which are the save rooms. So so, it, so it'll save your game, hmm. heal your heal your health, and uh, re, re, refuel your missiles. Okay, so changing the formula just a little bit makes it a little tougher. There is only one other way to get health back, but it's pretty dire. Okay, and here we are, the navigation booth. All right. So, uh, you know what, this is like my most hated time in Nintendo's history, because they felt like they had to handhold every single aspect of their games going forward. So whenever I go into the navigation room, it has to tell me every single time that the data is being saved and my health is being restored. Mm -hmm. Compared to go to Metroid Prime, scan, and then it gives me a text pop-up and then we're good to go. But it needs to, to, needs to tell me in a fully voiced line every single time. Alright, what are you, what are you numb nuts up to? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hope dead. this isn't Chris's blood. Uh, nope, Someone we're uh, walking into some dead scientists, and that is never a good thing, especially looking at this guy. Yeesh. Oh, he's mo- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't like that. Not a fan. Get away from me! <laughs> God, what a jock. I'm so glad these douche bros are here with us throughout the whole game. Some pervasive so glad. Throughout the facility. Oh, yeah, no shit! I didn't know what had brought Adam here. It was the baby's but cry! I that cooperation same was thing that brought you here. It was the same thing that brought you here, you idiot! It's alright, man. Adam, it's alright. Take a deep breath. Clearly this we are on episode one. one. I need you to be able to last until episode 22. I'm hoping that maybe can ring all that out and then... That's why I'm then eventually it's just gonna be like, let's, let's just make fun of I it. I need to know, and I need people to know this game hurt me. <laughs> I need people to know, okay? <laughs> I'm not laughing at your pain, I'm laughing how you phrase it. Oh, oh, that. laugh at my pain, that's the whole point of this. <laughs> that's the whole point. Laugh, go fall, oh, because someone needs to get some joy out of this. Hey! Alright, first, first boss! Boss time, this is, uh, what the hell is this thing? Eh, Brug Mass! It's the Brug Mass. Brug Mass? A bug mass? It's a, a mass of no, brugs. brugs. It's, it's Brugs. Alright, so here's... Okay, I can, I can see the combat. So, so again, here's where it kind of works, and here... Oh, 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 I'm kind of locked into... Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, well, okay, I, I'm trying to... My my Wii mode is it's 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 it, it's stuck. No I cannot. I, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to move out of the way, but I can't. Do, do I have because to it wants you to do, do I dodges? I, I, am I trying to do what? Dead. Good start. Good start. Yeah. All right. All right. Um. Here we are. Good. We're here. Great. Fantastic. Uh. uh see you guys next time for uh, whatever comes next. Let's everybody get a big thumbs up for that one. All right. Let's let's, let's try again. So was that? It wanted you to do something else, and since you didn't follow the rules, it just locked you in there? Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. What it wants me to do is it wants me to sense move out of one of these tentacles. Oh. Don't you love how they're going to tell me that, though? Because here uh... soon, they're going to give me missiles back. They're going to allow me to use my missiles again. Oh, good. So when I go into first-person mode, wanting to use my missiles, that's not what the game wants me to do. So I have to sense move while I'm in first-person. And that's kind of hard to do when you're holding it like this 
The D-pad's up here. Wait, you it gotta use first a second person? hand. I don't know. I don't fucking know. In first but they person? want me to sense move with his with his uh, tentacles there. So I go back to the first person. And so I'm there thinking, we go. I'm locking on, it, it even but I can't do anything. I'm locking on to him. Motion. Like I'm supposed to. There slow we go. Motion. And, well, and, all right, good. I can't, I'm I can't glad get out. I can't get out. I'm still trying to get out first person. I can't get out. Fuck first person. God damn it. Cool. Fuck. Glad we know what slow motion means. Okay. Okay. All right. Regretting this series already, as I'm thinking as I'm recording recording this right now. You're fine. But I'm fine right now. Yeah, you're fine. Right now it's okay, because because we're gonna do it. Check it out. And, and I got in the first person mode again. Right here. Ow. Uh right. Push the dodge. There, there we, we go. go. That's what they wanted me to do! This ain't good! Nothing's working! Listen up! Free guns authorized! Uh, authorized. <laughs> Oh lord. Sam, I'm authorizing missile use. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. <sighs> I, I still don't get. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. It's such a poor excuse for taking away all your powers. It is a weak ass excuse in a game that has rich so, stories. So weak sauce. Oh, it's stuck in the ground. So you, you blast him go. in the face, and he goes rawr, the and then he does that, and then all of the uh, all of them use the freeze guns on this thing. I get that. Working in tandem with these guys, have them be here for a reason. So then they freeze him, and then use a missile, and then kablamo, there goes one of his arms. Nice. All right, we're doing this. Big chunk of the health bar too. Yeah, we're doing we're doing this. This is this is great. All right, we're, we we've got this. Let's hit it. Let's hit him again in the face. Both. Perfect. Cool. All right. And he kind of wobbles around. He does that? Gets stuck. Shoot him! Shoot him there again. Doing good. And patooey. All right. See, we got it. when it's when it's working good. It's working good. And now he just has to use his forehead. He's got to use his face. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, wait. Oh, he's, he's a jumpy boy. Go, okay, got it. That's cool. That's cool. All right. I like yeah. how you can aggro him towards you if you, you gotta shoot him. You've got to get him a little bit positioned just right. Patooey. Got oh. him. It's also not uh, clear whether if you go into first person, if uh, Samus is going, if the camera's going to go where Samus is doing, or where you, the player, are doing. It's confusing as hell. Oh, big eyeball! Big eyeball! That looks like something to shoot. Let's do it. Uh, hey guys, you want to help me shoot it? Oh, it's a big old bug. There we go. Oh, ew. oh, oh, gross. Well done, team. Ew. I also hate the fact that we see Samus's face all the time. I don't like bugs. Adam, no, here I hated we go. Bugs, Samus. Looks like I'm going to need to ask for your cooperation on this mission, but I'm also going to have to ask that you follow my commands. Why? You don't move unless I say so. Why? And you don't fire until I say so. But why? And that's the final word. And she just accepts it whole hog. And now let's have a flashback of, of my military days. Here we go thumbs again. The thumbs up sign has been used by the Galactic Federation for ages. Right, yeah, yeah, thumbs up, yeah. <laughs> but she gives us thumbs down! <sighs> Glad she can pat herself on the back for being a trendsetter for thinking of thumbs down. And then it needs to spell out why this is, why this is a clever moment. Any objections, lady? Like, why joking. are we all doing like thumbs up signs like that? Warned. Because it's cool, man. By people who treated Chris me Rickles? like a child, or used kid gloves because I was Peers? a woman. Oh my God, Rebecca. And yet with Adam, I was grateful <laughs> Sherry for the nod. Sherry Perkins. God, it does look like Rebecca. The past <laughs> has left me with an uneasy soul, mm. and as a result, it touched me on some level that Adam would acknowledge that past by calling me something delicate. Oh God. <laughs> Everything maybe he was being he was being ironic. <laughs> she said infusion. It sounded sarcastic when he did it, but when he but, but, when, when he said it, it sounded almost dignified. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this, this is so dumb. They, I mean, it's gonna hurt you. It's gonna make me laugh. I'm sorry. I'll try. I'll try to keep you on a course where you don't actually agonize yourself to literal death. A lot of things are best left unspoken in certain things, don't you know? Like just, the majority just, of the cutscenes just, here, just, just like you know, the relationship between Adam and Samus. Like I, I get it. You know, Co probably gave her some stability in her in her life because she didn't have that much growing up. You know, parents get killed by Ridley. Space, uh, space colony blows up. Live with birds. Become a bird person. Out on your own. What do you do? You know. Sure, Adam may have offered some stability. I, I get that. Poor between that. I, I understand. Sure. 
Do you think all of this extra fluff came about because Team Ninja was given a budget? I don't know if it was all Team Ninja because we we need to blame Yoshio Sakamoto a whole bunch too. I wouldn't blame an individual. Oh, I'm gonna blame him too. This was his this was his dream child. He wanted he wanted to really flesh out uh, Samus's story, but I really think it's a it's a fucking it's almost like a skin flick. It's so exploitative and so so bad. Time to confess my sins. I was so young Adam I said, knock me parents. out. There's no, There's no question, question I saw, I saw Adam, Adam as a father, father figure. You weren't kidding about the daddy issues. Oh, yeah. When Huge daddy issues. I knew I could I get away. Could get oh, my God. <laughs> that has his paternal <laughs> compassion. That has the same vibes as the president <sighs> looking at a picture of Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> Chances were slim that I would ever find anyone that understood me like Adam. Oh my lord. I, like she can feel these things, sure. I'm not I'm not doubting that, the but the fact that she feels so passionately decide. about it, I don't I don't I'm not taking so much stock in in her devotion to Adam. So it's clear this is a midlife crisis. She's regressing back to her younger days, being under daddy's watch. This is like moving so back in with now? your parents after a bad divorce. That's exactly what this again. is. It's a midlife crisis, and don't you forget it. And you've been wanting creature. to spout those exact words Situation for an audience for about a year now. Oh, I just we came up to the midlife crisis thing can, a bit, just a, a, a few months ago. I was like, oh my god, I get it now. It's, it makes sense. It's here. It, it, it's here. Clear as day. Be careful as you make your sweeps. I mean, when I was bouncing around uh, Dark Aether and Metroid Prime 2, uh, having the corruption eat away at my suit, I'm thinking, you know what? I miss my daddy. <laughs> this would go a lot smoother if I was having Adam Malkovich tell me what to do at every single fucking turn. Why the hell is he up above everyone else? Because he's the commander! He's Alright, he's sending us out on, on our, on our uh, respective routes. God, everyone's dick gonna die. There are three sectors in this. There's the main sector and then each individual sector. Anthony, your sector three. I'll leave it to you to decide whether plasma guns are called for. All right, James, check out the control bridge. James Pierce. might be the result of electrical interference. Yes, sir. And KG, run a complete KG, you know, Fune? <laughs> I was thinking that too. Trace of survivors. Got it. Each of you is authorized to use a freeze gun. Except for Samus, because she Not sucks, and she's a gross lady with cooties. She gets to use hand-to-hand -hand combat. Only. And Samus. What? You go to the system management room. Right. Do everything you can to get the electrical system back up and running. Excuse me, I am a, I am a space bounty hunter! I have destroyed entire civilizations of evil minions! And you want me to go turn on the power? Do I look like a fucking mechanic? Auxiliary weapons, this really did hurt you. Bombs has been authorized. As far oh, as cool! I can use bombs now. Thank you, sir. Use as we can. It's all right, man. However, we You're hurting the game. No back. plans to authorize the use of power bombs. Okay, as got you know, it. They have the to we are never going to use power bombs. We there, 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 there's, there's no way until it's, a lot later. It's it's and too much. It, it's too much. It's too dangerous. Power bombs out of the question, well of except for the fact that we used a power bomb in the training, and you're going to see doors that have power bomb in them. So, hmm, I guess something's going to change here in a little bit. Once the mission in the system yeah, I, I remember very vaguely that one time you actually have to get your ass kicked by a boss before Adam goes. Oh yeah, you can use the thing that can kill the boss. Yeah, that's cool. Are you kidding me? You got to go through a, through a heated room and take heat oh, damage that's right. before Adam says, okay, use the various suit. That's right. Which I think is just stupid. Well, I mean, it is. Wouldn't it be much more interesting if Samus was on board but not really following Adam's orders the, the entire time? Kind of testing the limits of that paternal paternal love that Adam so desperately has for her? Wouldn't it be great if we actually, you know, made progress? Because as far as I'm concerned, we went through five rooms and we haven't moved from the fifth room. Uh-huh. It's been ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Understood, Adam. Understood, Adam. <laughs> no objections. <laughs> what was that? What was that shot? So the map is also confusing too because it doesn't stay in one place. So it says I have to go south, but then the map will shift so it looks like I'm going north, and they'll just change direction, and it's very hard to follow. So, wait, yeah. <sighs> well, <laughs> uh, yeah, did you get it oh, out of your oh, system? Oh right, it's a Metroid game. I almost forgot. It has it has to be a Metroid game. It still has to be search action. This is no Metroid. This is no Metroidvania. It's search action. Search action. Search action. 
That's what they called it before they got the Metroidvania title. Oh. Probably what Nintendo calls it to keep it from being compared to Castlevania. Most likely, yeah. So, here we go. Okay, that's how we get through. Uh-huh. Ta-da. A missile tank. We have a hundred collectibles. Grand total. Five energy tanks, 16 energy parts that equal up to four uh, oh. additional energy tanks. Three, uh, what is that? Three recovery tanks. Okay. Six Excel charges, we'll get to that. And 70 missiles. 70 missiles. For a grand total of 70 80. missiles that we can restock whenever we want. Okay. So. It's a lot to unpack, I know. Then there's still a lot more to unpack. And We're you're nowhere still near done. unpacking. I'm still unpacking. Is we got we got a whole nother floor here. Alright. See you next time on Metroid Other M.